if you ask me one thing i'm excited about the kenya premier league right now is thank goodness the first league is done unajua ndiko naingia tu room hivi gormaya fans are discussing about the unbeaten run and how well they've been performing man shabana has been putting me in a position whereby i can't fully participate in conversations i am silenced when i walk in a room where people are discussing about kenya premier league because what am i going to speak or to say maybe uh we have been out of the uh the kenya premier league for 17 years and now we are back so just give us time these are your songs man hata mimi mwenyewe nachoka nachoka kurudia go back and forth saying the same thing same reasons oh we have a young squad uh they made up of national super league let's just give them time second leg is here match week 17 was very much exciting eric capito can score so the fact that you guys keep calling out your favorite players to show up when they are playing it's very important it's very key because i remember first leg last year that is last year 2023 Eric Capito's fans were on his neck like you could see tweets about him like amekawia kufunga bana where is he he should come out he should come out and we saw that again is Kenya uh, KCB football club is Kenya Commercial Bank football club that is so we saw Eric Capito come out score a hat trick against KCB which has been having a very good form in the first leg Matano alitupatia tu high five ma high five to ma high five to to kwa to kwa to kwa ish cuz i just remembered first leg fans wanted matano out i just want to know akina akina who's this this lady akina chikori akina tabitha makome tabitha akina akina silin akina njoki who njoki and name well wow njoki and name well my fans wa raska walikuwa on matano's neck sasa hivi nazataka tu niwaite tu kando unawaite tu kando mniambie as you see what time does to a coach or to a team not even to a coach to a team have you seen what time does to a team mm mlikuwa mtoka matano aende wapi akuje shabana actually mimi ningetaka tu akuje shabana actually That is what I wanted. That is what I've been looking forward to. That is what that is what we've been lacking at Shabara. And you see look at Shabara, look at Matano. They have the same kind of football. Matano is a compliment to Shabana. If Matano came to Shabana, Shabana will be on other heights that Gormaya Tasca Posta Rangers Ulinzi Stars I always if you care like I'm speaking of Ulinzi Stars na mauchungu nikikumbuka Ulinzi Stars beat us mercilessly 4-1 at their home I see it second leg Shabana is coming for those points thank goodness Pamzo said we need three maximum points from Ulinzi Stars and I'm backing him on that I'm backing him on that so match week 17 was exciting a capito back to the scoring charts right now he has five goals the reading top scorer uh, benson omala has nine goals and that is something good and i always encourage fans call out your favorite players call out your favorite strikers attackers call them out if you believe in them they should also believe in themselves and eventually itafika time pia wao wataanza kufunga mabao kuna kuangana the the high side of football and the low side that is the highs and lows of life of which pia kuna kongana good runs bad runs in football so ukipata player pia apo ile form yenye it's it's okay it's a bad form so the fans play a, an important role in calling out those players actually it keeps them in check don't abuse them don't use abusive words you just call them out like there's that kind of motivation it brings to back to them and they'll come back to the pitch and they exploit their potential so fans keep calling out your favorite players it afika two time and then they'll they'll start showing up they start performing they'll start scoring those goals you've seen with El- Eric Capito so uh, that was a, a highlight of match week 17 that we saw 
uh, also uh, top of the table for goal assists. Yani wale ambao wanasaidia wafungaji mabao. Clifton Miheso ako hapo ametangulia na five assists zake. Uh, actually it was FC Leopards match week 17. Yes, FC Leopards uh, match week 17 player of the match that was uh, something also uh, an highlight from him uh, that is good that is good that is very good and very impressive and the fact that I've, I've, I've noticed that uh, FC Leopards have been performing well FC Leopards uh, played against uh, Ulysses Stars they managed a very narrow win one nil win against Ulysses Stars at the end of the day what matters is if you can maintain a clean sheet at the same time, bang, the three points. That's a win. That's a win. Mm. You maintain the clean sheets, you get the maximum three points. That's a win. And if that is this trajectory where FC Leopards is trying to go into, then now Avulia Kofia, I salute you guys. I salute you guys. Uh, I can see... Uh, FC Leopards have everything actually. FC Leopards, if you look at FC Leopards, FC Leopards have absolutely everything that a club needs in the Kenyan scope. FC Leopards have the money, they have the experienced players, they have the technical team, they have an analyst. Man, not all the KPL uh, teams have an analyst. They have a coach, they have an assistant coach. Like entirely, they have not... I can't, I can't say that they have a good structure because we've been talking about how Kenya Premier League teams don't have well-built structures. But for FC Leopards, they have basic minimum. They have met the basic minimum. A coach, a foreign coach. They have experienced players. They have a management. They have fans. They have basic requirements to run a football club. And most importantly, money. They have money. Yeah. So seeing them going back to winning and at the same time maintaining a clean sheet makes me so happy. The also the fact that Josh Angatia is their analyst and is my friend makes me even shake my collar. Man, I know someone who's working and you can see the results, man. I salute you guys. I salute FC Leopards uh, fans. You, you deserve to be proud, by the way. As a, you, you deserve to be proud. Yeah. You guys just rant out. You've been ranting. You've been crying. Akina Dola, I've been crying on the timeline. Bakai, I've been crying. <laughs> They've been crying. Hmm? But finally, I I have seen how they've been performing the list, the recent matches they've been playing, uh, whether Kenya Premier League or or the tournaments they have been participating during the holidays. They've been there's been that improvement. The leopards and that is something recommendable yeah so just work on the austerity that i mentioned uh during the last time and you're good to go you you, you your club is big you your club is big so just uh, allow your players to be friendly let them appreciate the fans we we need not to remind them it's it's it's, it's it needs to come natural to the players to appreciate fans whether they have won or not won Ah, we have shown up. We've paid for the ticket. We've come to the venue. We are here. Vaola. Appreciate the fans. We don't need to force you guys to appreciate fans. FC Leopards players appreciate fans. Also the management. Being hostile is not very necessary. So all that uh, thing that I was talking about, Madira Soka assassins are not being uh, welcomed the way they deserve to be welcomed. It's, it all draws back to that hospitality. Yes, we have bad days where you shout, but at the end of the days, but at the end of the day, just be hospitable because the fans are the key stakeholders. Whether they are other footballers or not, the people come to watch your match are the key stakeholders. So the way you treat them matters to as football observers and other football observers out there. So it's important on how a team treats whoever who walks into the stadium to watch their match. That is very key. So 
uh, you work on that, we are good to go. Yeah, so Matrix 17, uh, we had very beautiful goals, many goals. Uh, Matano side, we want to be to high five. Also, we had Nairobi City Stars uh, beat FC Talanta 3 nil. The fact that you can score more goals, more than three goals, and maintain a clean sheet, that is good. That shows how much of game management, game strategy, time strategy you guys put in. Coach, coaching staff, the players, they put in a lot to ensure they can score more than three goals and maintain a clean sheet. That is not easy. It doesn't come very easily. It doesn't come very easily. So seeing Nairobi City Stars, uh, Police FC, Sofa Parker, FC Leopards, Tasca FC, actually, all these teams in match week 17, they maintained a clean sheet. Look at Bandari. Bandari maintained a clean sheet against Zoya Sugar. Uh, match week 17, Bandari scored one goal also nairobi city nairobi city stars scored three goals against fc talanta they maintained a clean sheet look at shabana which was at home they played moron youth moron youth managed to travel away get the maximum points and still maintain a clean sheet police fc also uh, scored three goals they maintained a clean sheet against the Kamega Homeboys in Nairobi, Kalenya National Stadium. Uh, Poster Rangers lost to Gurmaya. Gurmaya managed to maintain a clean sheet. Kariobagi Sharks and Rangasil is the only team in match week 17 that drew. And drawing also is not... It's, it's, it's also a good thing. It's, it's, it's very important also to a team to draw. You know, like whether you're traveling or better than nothing, like it's better than now losing. Week 17, so Karibani Sharks draw 1-1 uh, uh, versus Mrangasil. And that was the only draw we had in match week 17. Uh, so Fapaka scooped three points and they scored three goals. against beat Co United. They maintained the most important sheets, the clean sheets again I told you about. Leopards did the same with a very small margin, 1 nil versus Ulinzi Stars. They also maintained a clean sheet. Look at Tasca. Beautifully, beautifully Tasca. Matano Alisema Anarudi 2024 na Ubaya. High fiving everybody. Well, if this is the way Matano is going to drive that Tasca, then Gormaya should start uh, getting the threads. Poster Rangers have been having a very uh, beautiful form uh, since uh, 2023, 2024, like basically these years, our first leg started. They've been carrying us through. We've been loving it. We've been enjoying it. We've been seeing the upset that got Gurmaya because we really need to see a new title winner this time round. The fact that Poster Rangers kept a very good form and then started dropping down it's very scary it's very worrying it's very it's very heartbreaking to us fans who want to see new title winners so for strangers hapo mulitumiza roho tungependa sana tuone second leg what are you guys going to do second leg what are you guys going to do i would like to see that competition up there top five that competition is very healthy. Uh, so, Tasca FC, Walifunga uh, Mabautano, Guinness KCB Football Club, a club that has maintained top five, at, at least top six, top five. So it was beaten by Tasca FC's Matano's side, 5 nil. Tasca kept a clean sheet again. Uh, Eric Capito, I can't fail to mention him because match week 17, it's it has, it has been all about Eric Capito, left, right, center, Eric Capito, Eric Capito, Eric Capito, because of the hat trick he scored. That is very beautiful. Was it an offside? But again, how many offsides have we scored in the Kenya Premier League? How many offsides? How many offsides have we scored? 
I think it's uh, our fans were carried away by the hat trick and the bicycle kick. The offside was forgotten. Game, game week 17 was uh, such a beautiful week. Uh, Gormaya continues to enjoy their unbeaten run, but until when? Uh, Kevin Omondi of Gormaya uh, is the top goalkeeper with 11 clean sheets at the moment. Uh, as I mentioned earlier as well, Benston Nomala of Gormaya FC is the top scorer with nine goals so far. And uh, if I had someone here and get caught on a new leader, so Saivi, now offside Ngapi. <laughs> Welcome to the Kenya Premier League. <laughs> oh. Welcome to the Kenya Premier League. Offside's Pia Nimabao.